Hey guys, this is Pranay. Uh, I'm going to be doing a center of mass problem today. Um, so if you have questions, you can just email them to uh, tutorsubmissions at gmail.com. Uh, and then I'll put up a solution video within 24 hours. All right, so here's the question. The question is, uh, determine the CM of the uniform thin L-shaped construction brace shown in figure one. Uh, suppose that A equals 2.14 meters and B equals 1.66 meters. Uh, all right, so right away, um, I'm just going to start like, you know, plugging, putting in some of these values here just so it, it makes it easier to see. So B equals 1.66. And um, yeah, so the width of these, of the tubes here, these are all 0 0.20 meters. So here as well. And um, yeah, right here. So that means I'm going to go ahead and label this length. As um, so, it's going to be 2.14 minus 0.2, so that's going to give us, uh, yeah, so that's 1.94 meters. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so, the equation for center of mass, uh, generally speaking, can be given by uh, m1 times x1 plus m2 times x2 over m1 plus m2. So M1 is going to be like the, the mass, um, like the first mass, M2 is the second mass on the other end of the fulcrum. Uh, and then X1 is the first coordinate, X2 is the second coordinate. Uh, and then it's going to be the uh, total mass uh, or the addition of both masses together. Uh, okay, so and then specifically this is for, um, so th this is like the more general equation. But um, since uh, they're asking us in the question to find the coordinates, x and y coordinates, um, we can divide these. So this is going to be cm for the x coordinate. And then for the y coordinate, it's going to be more or less the same equation. But instead of x1, it's going to be y1. And then instead of x2, it's going to be y2. Then it's still going to be over the total mass. OK? So we're going to start with um, the x coordinate. So I'm going to do the work for that uh, over here. <clears throat> so uh, right away, we can we already have a problem, right? So the equation involves mass, but um, we're not given any masses in the question. So we're going to have to get a little creative. Uh, so what we do have are lengths and, and widths. So from that, we could calculate area. And um, in this case, because it's a uniform, um, it's, it's a uniform brace, uh, we can assume that mass is going to be um, mass is going to be propor directly proportional to area. So uh, really quickly before I um, get into that, um, the way we're going to tackle this problem is by sort of dividing um, like this L shaped brace into two sort of separate entities. Uh, and so the first being you know this A sort of like rectangle here. We're going to take it this entire rectangle here. All right, and then for the second one or B, we're gonna take this rectangle over here. So that's how we're gonna sort of like section off these um, these respective rectangles. So now going back to the uh, like the mass issue, the issue of not having mass. Um, so like I said, mass is gonna be directly proportional to area in this case, and the reason we know that is because um, if you look at the equation for density. D equals M over, over V, where V is volume. Um, we can see that, uh, so density is going to be the same or constant across the entire brace. And uh, for volume, um, we're, we're going to assume that uh, it has this L-shaped brace has the same depth across the whole thing. So uh, if depth, if you, if depth is factored out, um, then it basically it's only uh, area and mass that are going to be uh, different. And so so the M over A is going to be proportional to each other. All right. So yeah, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to, um, you know, just like write out a couple ratios here. So it's important to know that note that, you know, even though like, these are proportional to each other, like we can just sub substitute area for mass exactly. Um, but we can what we can do is um, you know come up with some ratios and then hopefully substitute those into the equations that we're going to use later on. 
So for example, we'll just go ahead and say, okay, so mass one over uh, mass two. Um, basically, and for mass one, I'm referring to the mass of this first um, rectangle for A that I mentioned earlier, and mass two is gonna be the mass of this B block. So now if we wanted to come up with a ratio for that, uh, we're gonna we're gonna write the area of um, of mass one over here, and that's gonna be um, it's gonna be two point one four meters times point two meters, and then we're gonna have this over uh, b, which is one point six meters times point two meters as well, uh, and then as you can see, these two are gonna cancel. And so we're just left with 2.14 or 1.66. Uh, and then, so that's gonna be 1.29. Uh, now, as you'll notice, um, so M, so I just did this for the sake of, you know, just kind of showing like, you know, in pieces of information we can get. Now I could also, you know, flip this over, take the reciprocal and do you know, M2 over M1, uh, you know, which would equal um, you know, 1 divided by 1.29, which is 0.78. In case, you know, we can we somehow manipulate our equation to give us something that's like M2 over M1. But uh, in this case, um, you know, we can, we can take a closer look and we'll see that it's going to be hard to do something like that here because uh, the masses are being added in the denominator, M1 plus M2. So we're going to have to um, do something or take this even a step further. So now what we're going to do is instead we're going to come up with a way to uh, sub substitute something for M1 over M M1 plus M2. Um, so in essentially we need to come up with a ratio for that's getting cut off for this so m1 over m1 plus m2 um and then we'll also we're also going to do the same thing for m2 over m1 plus m2 because here um we're, we're we can split these apart by you know um writing like m1 x1 over m1 plus m2 and then plus and then you know the other fraction which is m2 uh, times x2 over m1 plus m2. So, yeah, so going back over here, so if we, um, you know, substitute the area for the the block A, we're going to get 2.4 times 0.2. Um, and I mean, you know, the units for these are all in meters, but just for the sake of time, we're going to ignore them. And then now we're going to, do the same thing. So I'm going to leave out because, you know, we're looking for the areas of both of these. Um, we can factor out the 0 0.20 on the bottom. So I'm just going to write it outside the parentheses here. And then um, so these we're going to add together of 2.14 plus um, 1.66. And so, you know, these are going to cancel and this is going to give us So as you can see, that's going to give us 0.563, right? And then same thing for here. We're going to do, um, so M2, it's going to be 1.66 divided by 2.14 plus 1.66. Once again, you know, these are the, instead of the masses, we're doing the areas of these respective blocks. Uh, and then, you know, a little bit redundant, but um, for the area, you know, you have to also have the width, but these is, these are going to cancel. So that just leaves us with uh, 1.66 divided by 1.66 plus 2.14, which is 0.437. Uh, I did that correctly. And so, yeah, so now we have these. So we're gonna, we should be able to uh, go ahead with our equation. So starting with the x coordinate, uh, I'm gonna write that out as, as follows. I'm gonna start a little higher up. Okay, 
Okay, yeah. So like I said, so now, um, in, so this is what the equation initially would have been, just to make this a little clearer. So I'm taking this, but I'm just splitting the fraction apart without really doing anything. And so now I can go ahead and substitute all of this with the value I got here. So I'm going to say 0.563. Uh, and so now I need to multiply this with the coordinate, the x coordinate for the first block. And so what this coordinate is referring to is the uh, center of mass for the for block A. So now because we've sectioned it off into two sort of two separate blocks here, um, finding the center of mass for each these individual blocks is pretty easy. It's just it's just going to be you know the length and width divided by two. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and, you know, look up here and to do that. And it's going to be this whole length is 2.14. So the X coordinate for that is just 2.14 divided by 2, which will give us the X coordinate at this point here. Uh, and then now we're going to add that with. So same thing, I'm going to substitute M2 over M1 plus M2 with this value here. So we're going to say 0.437 times and then so now the uh, x coordinate when you find the x coordinate for the second block like the x coordinate of the center of mass of this and so now it's important to be careful here right because um, a lot of people make mistakes when it comes to this part uh, especially because um, they forget to add the uh, length of this one so what I mean by that is so look if we have zero over here for like for x um, the center of mass of this is over here. So the x coordinate is going to be right here. So what? Um, so the way we find this is going to be this length that I found from earlier, 1.94, uh, plus, um, you know, 0 0.2 divided by 2, which will give us this little sliver over here. So I'm going to write that over here times uh, 1.94 plus uh, 0.20 over 2. And yeah, that should give us the x coordinate for that. I'm going to calculate that really quickly. All right, so I get 1.494, okay? So that is going to be our X coordinate for the um, the center of mass of the whole brace. And so now we're gonna do more or less the same thing with the Y coordinate. So um, just like I did with this one, you know, I'm gonna separate those two to their respective fractions so that I can replace this part it's going to be the same values that I replaced there. So I'll just say uh, center of mass for y is equal to uh, 0.563 times. And then now we got to find the y coordinate for the center of mass for um, the for block A. And so that is going to be, you know, if here zero is here, it's just going to be like right here in the middle for for this point. And that's just going to be um, 0.2 divided by 2. Uh, and then plus 0.437 times. Uh, so now the y coordinate of the second one. So here's another point where sometimes people go wrong. Um, so uh, because the you know y coordinate of block B is down here, um, this is actually going to be negative. As you can see, you know, this, uh, so if zero is here, this is positive, um, this coordinate is going to be negative. So, um, yeah, so in, so what we're going to do is, you know, take B or 1.66 divided by 2, and then just um, change this to a negative. So 1.66 divided by 2 to get the half of, to have that so we get the center here. Uh, and then to... Go ahead and change this to minus. All right, so that will give us uh, 
uh, negative 0 0.306, right? So, yeah, so I believe that gives us, this gives us our final answer. So the C, or center of mass, um, is going to be equal to like an XY, an XY coordinate form, 1.494 comma negative 0.306. All right. So let me know if you have any questions on that. Um, leave a comment and um, like the video if you found that helpful. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more um, videos or solutions or anything like that. Uh, and yeah.